Love of Family. April 17, 2014. When it comes to the stuff that brings your family closer, deep down with enough heart and soul searching, you will always know what works best. Unfortunately what often occurs is that life and its endless supply of distractions tends to get in the way and the close-knit family becomes distorted and disconnected through the rush of everyone doing their own thing. It is important to find time for family, to nurture that bond, and bring those that are always on the move back into the fold and feeling connected once again. It is understood that every family member has different wants and needs, and some no longer live with you. It is why it is so important beautiful bright hearts that when everyone is together, regardless if it's at meal time, at a sporting event, or something else that brings everyone together, to make every moment together matter. Instead of fretting over the tasks that had to be done, or what still needs to be done, focus on the specialness of the connection time you are experiencing. The times you put aside even for a few minutes to listen attentively, to be supportive, to be the rock and the rainbow when needed, may not always receive wordy appreciation, but know in your heart that when your family comes together, every heart is being warmed, healed and being loved. It can be hard when everyone is together for a function, or even for a simple family meal. Everyone is talking and quite possibly not everyone is on the same path. Opinions will differ. When you do get together, it is important for the peace of your togetherness to harness your need to be sarcastic, to judge or to criticize, put the negative thoughts away for a few hours. Remember words can cause so much damage and they can't be undone just because you said sorry. Treat each person with respect, it does not matter if everyone in your family has different values and opinions, what matters is the love that is there that connects each of you. And what might be struggling has the potential of becoming strong and viable. By treating each person in your family with love, affection, and respect, you are honoring them as an individual as well as a member of your family. Don't allow the friction of life to dampen the opportunity of tightening the bonds of family ties. When you are all together, or even if it's just you and your partner, value the simplicity and power of touch. You don't have to say a single word, but a touch upon the shoulder of a loved one, or sitting next to them, speaks of closeness and deep trust and connection. Make a point each day to touch the ones you love in some non-intrusive way. There are some children who do not particularly enjoy being fussed over or hugged, but a gentle touch on the arm as you walk by is comforting and reassuring, and still speaks of love without you saying a single word. If you haven't gotten together with individual family members for a while, take some time to think about how long it has been since you've done something together. If you haven't spent quality time with one of your children, your brother, sister or someone else who is special because you have been too busy or preoccupied, now is a perfect time to get together to catch up and to enjoy each other's company. In order to build on the relationships within your family, one-on-one -on -one time is essential. We know your children are busy doing so much, sometimes too much, it won't hurt their performance by being together, enjoying more quality time together. It is important to build a strong family foundation, where trust, love, and comfort is known, felt, and appreciated. It is important to slow down in order to enjoy the moments you have. It doesn't matter if all of you are getting together for a huge family vacation, reunion, or just hanging out together, make these moments memories. Shared experiences is another way of ensuring your family feels as if it's a tight-knit team, instead of them possibly feeling they are merely residents in your home or occupants of your family. In addition, when you make family time memorial, it gives them something to look back on when life becomes a little bumpy. It is essential for you and your partner to spend quality time together. Spending the night home watching television or reading the newspaper is not quality time, that is usual time. Put aside a couple hours a week that are just for the two of you. We know how tired each of you are at the end of a busy work week. Instead of coming home and just dropping into your chair or couch, make plans to do something special such as attend a local theater performance, go to the movies, have a picnic, whatever you do, commit to it and get out together. When the bonds between both partners are strong and tight, 
the vitality and strength filters to the rest of the family. Happiness and peace can become contagious if both are already present on a daily basis. Even though everyone is busy doing their own thing, always make a point to ask, how can I help? Or do you need anything? By asking how you can help demonstrates your support, and this can be exercised every day, not just occasionally. Humor has always been effective when stress enters a situation. Remember beautiful bright hearts, humor and laughter are healing. They bring in light when the humor is appropriate and non-hurtful. Humor has always been a great way to diffuse difficult moments that can suddenly arise out of nowhere. As often as possible, make time for family meals. Many families do this on the Sunday, but this is not always possible for everyone. Choose a day that brings everyone together. Eating together strengthens bonds that already exist. Eating together also helps to lessen the pressures life can bring. It allows for discussions to take place and sharing to occur at a mutual setting. Because separateness is still being encouraged, where so many are striving so hard at being an individual that sometimes close friends and family become ignored and pushed aside, Bring some creative fun into your family times. Make a conscious effort to do activities that are enjoyable. Don't just sit on the sidelines watching. Participate. Remember the best example a child has is their parents or caregivers. It is important when you are sharing your values that you are not just talking of them, but you are also demonstrating them from the very essence of your core. Bring your faith and values to life. This doesn't impose or force anyone to follow, but it makes you walk your talk. If your values have changed from your families, it is possible to introduce those new changes on the smaller scale, slowly as to not frighten. If spirituality is important to you, encourage family members that are open to pray or meditate with you. It may feel silly at first, but you are fostering a connection that could last a lifetime and create a bond forged by light and love that is endless. Family is important. What brings a family together and what tightens their bonds will be unique from one family to another as each family has their own dynamics. Not one is exactly the same. We know not all family is warm and cozy, but we also know there are friends who make up the difference. Embrace those that are family or feel like family. Let them in, don't push them away. Find a few minutes in your busy day to show you care. Three little words express your care best. I love you. And so it is. I am Ascended Master, Lady Nada through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com